Here's more wrestling news for July 26, 2022. And we're starting off this afternoon with CM Punk, who at Double or Nothing 2022 captured the AEW World Championship, but mere days later would announce that he is injured and won't be wrestling for some time. Fans were shocked to discover that a third summer of Punk wouldn't be happening, and there's unfortunately some bad news on his condition. Punk has undergone surgery for his leg injury, but PW Insider reports that during a San Diego Comic-Con panel, the AEW World Champion said his body is still healing after being shattered. It was said that it was evident just how much pain Punk was actually in while moving around, and that he was icing his foot multiple times backstage between appearances. Tony Khan has refused to say whether Punk will compete at All Out in September, which will mark a year since his first match with AEW. But with reports like these, don't bet on the AEW World Champion Wrestling anytime soon. Now this week's Raw was the final edition of the Red Brand before SummerSlam, and also took place from WWE's old stomping ground of Madison Square Garden. With this being the first Raw officially of the post-Vince McMahon era, there was certainly a lot of interest in the show, which proved to be a hit with the New York crowd. WrestleTix reported not long before the show went on the air that there were 12,816 tickets distributed from a capacity of 12,833. In an update from Sean Ross Sapp, WWE executives said that this week's Raw was indeed the highest grossing Raw of 2022, proving some much needed good PR after the past month. Of course, tickets for the show will have sold long before Triple H's return to power behind the scenes, but it's now up to him, Stephanie McMahon, Nick Khan, and those in charge behind the scenes to keep this momentum going. This week's Raw also marked the 20th anniversary of Rey Mysterio's WWE debut, who has become a three-time world champion and Grand Slam winner over that time. Rey has been one of WWE's most beloved stars for decades and made his name in WCW and ECW before then, but the masked wrestler knows he can't keep wrestling forever. Speaking to Ariel Helwani, Mysterio was asked about his future plans and said that he reckons he'll be done in a few years' time. For me, now that I'm getting closer to my 50s and I see my son wrestling, I tell myself that I want to go three more years and I don't want to go past 50. At 47 and turning 48 in less than four months, Mysterio doesn't have long left in his wrestling career, though we can't count out that 50 end date being somewhat flexible. With several surgeries and injuries to his name, Ray isn't the same athletic speedster he was a few decades ago, and fans should enjoy the ultimate underdog while they still can. In the new generation era, fans could see Mo each week on WWF-TV, working as part of the tag team Men on a Mission. Unfortunately, Mo isn't doing too well at this time, and the former WWF tag team champion is turning to the fans for some financial support. Mo has set up a GoFundMe page to help pay for his medical costs, as he's in a hospital right now with a long history of illnesses. On the page, Mo lists his medical history, including receiving a kidney transplant in March of 2018 and contracting COVID in January. The former WWF star spent three weeks in the ICU and an additional 10 days in a rehab facility, and despite beating COVID, the long-term effects left him relying on an oxygen machine. After reporting high CO2 levels on April 15th, Mo had to undergo surgery for a long-time hernia, an incredibly risky procedure given his condition. Nowadays, Mo is fighting pneumonia and is seeking $50,000 to help pay for his medical costs, and we certainly hope he reaches that target. Raw also saw Dolph Ziggler and AJ Styles team up for the first time ever to get the win over the Alpha Academy, but this could be more than just a one-off. During the course of the match, the pair of former world champions implemented some serious tag team offense, which wouldn't have looked out of place from an established team like Alpha Academy or even the Usos. The two also walk to the ring as a team rather than entering as individuals, and even has an in-sync pose together shortly before the show went to commercial. Both Ziggler and Styles have had their problems with Theory as of late, which prompted the two to team together this week, but don't be surprised if Styles and Ziggler are a permanent unit going forward. Roman Reigns has been Universal Champion for close to two years now and has dominated almost everyone in his wake. Reigns holds premium live event wins over John Cena, Goldberg, and Brock Lesnar, but there is one opponent that the Tribal Chief did not dominate. At the Royal Rumble, Reigns retained his title after getting disqualified during his match with Seth Rollins, with the Architect technically getting the win, if not the title. 
While speaking to the Hindustan Times, Seth made it clear that he's not finished with his former S.H.I.E.L.D. brother, saying, I live inside Roman's head rent-free, so whether or not he's champion after SummerSlam, there is definitely going to be another Rollins Reigns match down the road. We have a lot of unfinished business, but most importantly, anytime you see Rollins vs. Reigns on the marquee, you know there's going to be money involved, you know it's going to be big business, so when we get back to it, it's going to be huge, it always will. As for Reigns, he'll face off with Brock Lesnar at this Saturday's SummerSlam, but no matter if he retains or loses the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, his future seems destined to involve Seth Rollins. And we're ending today with Vince McMahon again, as McMahon is retiring in controversy amidst an investigation by WWE's board of directors into hush money payments paid out to former female employees to silence allegations of harassment, misconduct, and abuse, and the whole situation is going to make him approximately $144 million richer. According to Forbes, McMahon's net worth has been re-estimated at nearly $2.5 billion, up $144 million from today's sharp rise in WWE's stock price. The stock comes as WWE's latest filing with the SEC notes that they will be amending past financial reports to the $14.6 million paid out to former employees. According to WWE, even if McMahon made the payment from personal funds, the payments were of WWE's benefit and therefore should be recorded as such. The financial windfall represents a 10-time return on the hush money payments for McMahon. McMahon initially stepped down from corporate duties while maintaining control over the company's creative direction, but that changed on Friday when McMahon announced his retirement in full. With McMahon gone, former WWE head of talent relations John Laurinaitis is also gone from the company due to allegations by former employees. Wall Street reacted positively to the news that McMahon's daughter Stephanie would be taking over as chairwoman of WWE and sharing the CEO position with WWE president Nick Khan. McMahon's son-in-law Triple H has not only taken over Laurinaitis' position heading talent relations, but was announced as the new head of WWE creative earlier today. Bruce Prichard had been handling talent relations initially, as Laurinaitis was almost immediately placed on administrative leave after news of his and Vince's behavior broke in June. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.